his head, and there he goes. Abyss gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. Penta kill. Priestly with the quad feet gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Welcome, Saints Nation, to another week of Collegiate R6 Winter regular season action. This time, we're St. Clair Saints are up against the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. I'll probably be going by their tag uh, UW Whitewater or UW or something like that as we go along, because that is definitely a mouthful. My name's Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Danner, is your host, your producer here on the St. Clair Saints side of things. And without further ado, we're going to hop right on into it, of course. Team's not wasting any time getting themselves into picks and bans. So let's get right into the action. There we go. Okay. So start things off. Of course, your map list for today is going to be... I'm going to double check real fast here. It is going to end up being, of course, Cafe for game number one. Saints are going to attack first. Then map two is going to be Coastline. Map three is going to be Clubhouse. So for the first time in what feels like... A good couple of weeks, the Saints don't have to deal with Oregon or some other like odd pick like Villa. This seems like a relatively standard Saints kind of style. Meanwhile, taking a look at some of these bands here. Thatcher, fair enough, constantly getting picked out. Nobody wants to deal with them. We also have Maverick, we have Cade getting taken off the board as well. catch up as fast as I possibly can here, of course. And, of course, Mira. Fair enough. So, nothing too out of the ordinary here for this matchup in regards to the picks and ban phase. But, of course, now, our opponents here, the University of Wisconsin, Whitewater. First time I've gotten to see them compete. Looking forward to seeing how this one ends up going here. Of course, Cafe, one of the maps that uh, I think they tend to be comfortable with for the most part. And one thing to note, of course, as we go through your starting lineups here for tonight's match, we do have, of course, for the side of UW Whitewater. We have Boomin, we have Wordy, Rippled, Spider, and Parker. Then on the side of St. Clair, of course, we have Big Papa. We have Impact. Defenders, protect your bombs from being in fact, we have Chars, we have Zombie Dude, and we have Bonk Bonk. Who the heck is Bonk Bonk? That's actually Kira. Don't get baited like I did. It is Kira. Just apparently rebranding himself to something a little bit more amusing. So I'm going to get this call out for uh, epic Bonk Bonk plays. The only thing I'm upset about is that if he's playing Bonk Bonk, why is he not meaning Sledge? left before insertion attackers must locate and defuse a bomb okay there we go let's hop into the swing of things sorry for a little bit of silence there just getting into the swing of things here saints of course going to be starting off on the attacking side of things not necessarily their most favorited kind of position over the last couple of weeks they've been on a tiny little bit of a cold streak actually here in the cr6 so definitely looking to switch that up here today Unfortunately, in regards to UW, Whitewater, not quite sure of their record here right now in the CR6. And actually, Bonk Bonk is going to find one of the players from the side of UW right around the corner, but was not able to get the jump on him in time. Does put down some of those air jabs just in case the player does opt to actually dive him later. It is going to be spotted out. That's going to be Spider, actually, who nearly got smoked there by Bonk Bonk. Had Bonk Bonk not been uh, using his air jab at the time, was definitely not expecting a player to already be right in front of his face. Zombie dude making the move on in through the skylight. Pretty well uncontested as of this moment. Zombie dude making some noise as usual. Already has his recoil tested and good to go here for tonight's matchup. A 
couple players below. <coughs> Excuse me. On the A site, good to go here. We're gonna see Big Papa using some of these breaching charges just to blow some holes in the floor. Then use those breaching rounds to find yourself an extra hole from the uh, from the lower side of things. A couple shots fired. Nobody making contact, however. We can see the outlines from below. That was a nitro cell coming out that would have been Ripple's attempt. They're not going to make contact. We're going to see Charles blow through this reinforced hatch. Give them an extra entryway. We're down to the last minute of action here in the first round. Impact on a collision course here with somebody. He's going to set off the detector. He's going to give away his position. And sure enough, he saw the kneecaps of one of the players on the side of UW Whitewater. And I'm going to opt to go the opposite direction. Of course, if he does come up those stairs, there is a air jab available. So he would get knocked right on his rear. The Saints definitely taking their time here with this one. Eyes are going to be on Chargers, considering he does have the diffuser. The Saints are going to opt for this last 20 seconds push style that has just been pretty much everywhere in Rainbow Six Siege for the most part. And Saints definitely adapting that for quite a while. In fact, last 15 seconds, we're going to see, can they make something happen here? Big Papa leading the charge down. He's going to find one. Good shots from him. Looks for another. It's going to be Charles actually. Going to get it. He's going to get this diffuser planted as best as possible. He's going to get taken down, however, with seconds left to go. And they're not going to be able to pick this up in time. Saints waiting too long. And that's going to be the defenders taking that one. UW Whitewater off to a good start. That is always the risk of pap of uh, of playing that style because one thing goes wrong, diffuser carrier ends up going down, not able to plant it. Do you have somebody right there to back him up? Get like a secondary attempt at the diffuser plants. Otherwise, your push is basically completely shut down. It's very high execution with uh, lots of room for error. And unfortunately, therefore, Saints not going to start things off on the right side of things, but of course, still plenty. Of pl plenty of matches here tonight. Rounds still to go, rather, here tonight. With UW Whitewater taking care of that first round on the first floor. I'm gonna take it all the way up to the third floor this time by. Rather comfortable sight for the majority of teams nowadays. Gonna whip up the castle here for Rippled. Try to slow things down once again. Boom, and going to be playing the Ella this time by. Wordy is basically going to be sticking to that Jaeger, it looks like. Spider on Valkyrie once again. Parker on mute duty. And let's take a look and see where some of these pieces of utility are going. Five seconds remaining. One more camera still available there for Spider as well, as we do end up hopping into the attacker side of things. See if the Saints can pull this one back. In the past couple of weeks, of course, it's been a little bit odd. We would see the Saints oftentimes win the very first round of uh, of the half, then go on an absolute losing spree. That being said, though, the pattern is already broken in a sense, considering you, W. Whitewater, already have the first round. So maybe it's Saints' turn to turn this one right around on them. But we'll have to see. Spotting out Spider. Can somebody on the Saints maybe find themselves a cheap shot? Zombie Dude was looking for it, however. Not going to make contact, at least not as of yet. Bonk Bonk on air jab duty as per usual. That grenade is going to get all zapped up there by the ADS of Wordy. Keeping his team nice and safe. And actually, Rippled is going to make some contact here with Zombie Dude. Take him down to start off this round. Breaching round. Just going to blow up. I think that might have been a mute jammer. I could be wrong, though. Bonk, that's on the lower side of things. The rest of the Saints either along the side of the building or up in the rooftops. And once again, Spider actually with the pistol is going to find one. Good night. Pop is gonna call himself out for good night after the shot from Spider. Unfortunately, didn't quite see it ourselves, but we'll have to trust if he's calling himself out for a good night that that was a good shot. 
impact spots. I believe this is Spider here, but there's two members. In fact, that is going to be Spider. Still has the Nitro Cell. So does Parker. So they still have a decent amount of utility. That being said, though, a little bit of a back and forth trade here. One for one, not in the Saints' favor, considering they're already a couple players down. A little bit rough here. Bonk, bonk. Going to find Boomin. So getting himself back in the game. We do have ourselves another battle here with Impact. He's going to hang on for dear life. And now with 45 seconds left to go in round number two, he's going to be up the Bonk, Bonk, and Impact to somehow get a plant here. Did he spot that? No, not quite. What is happening with Impact? He is finding all of the yellow mines. As I can see here with the screen, it is a little bit difficult to try and aim when it looks like you're almost drunk. So, that's, that's just the effectiveness of those yellow mines. Shots fired. <coughs> bonk, bonk, and impact. Have to be careful not to line up on each other. Because it could be just one shot getting themselves double kill. Ripple's going to find one. Wordy going to find the other. UW Whitewater. Two strong rounds to start off this matchup. Here against the Saints. And right at that last pick there, I'm not sure if Ripple actually got the pick as operator in time. Hoping he didn't disconnect there. Sure enough, okay, he was not able to get there in time, so they're going to use his six pick onto him to get him the operator that he did want. Which in this case looks like is going to be the Malusi, unless this doesn't get locked in. Here in the reading room, of course, one of the more awkward places to try and defend here on Cafe where you'll oftentimes see maybe one person actually defend on the second floor. Meanwhile, everybody else defend is on the first or the third floor daggers. instead. Try and play through the ceiling, play through the floor, and try to hold this as best as possible. Starting up on the kill feed, though, it is going to be Rippled and Wordy who's going to uh, get things started here. Spider had himself a decent amount of engagement as well, finding a bunch of damage, finding one kill as well. And for the Saints side of things, it's actually going to be Charge who leads the charge here. For the Saints with Big Pompa, Zombie Dude, and Bonk Bonk short to follow. And then of course, Impact still having his hand in a kill, so an assist on the board as well. Five seconds left. Attackers must locate and defuse a bomb. Let's see if on the second floor here, if Saints can turn this one around already. I know I keep talking like they've been losing round after round already, but I know just how momentum-based this squad can sometimes be. When it's good, it's so good, but when it's uh, when you're down, it tends to go just <laughs> even further down. Unless they can keep this one going, though. But it just goes to show how how, uh, how strong this. Uh, UWA Waters the team already is, and Zombie Dude finding himself a ton of damage. Not sure what happened there. Got exploded. It would have been Spider's Nitro Cells. So these cheeky little shots here from Spider. Doing some damage at least. May not be getting the kill, but it's going to make Zombie Dude a little bit more nervous when it comes to shattering those floors later on. And speaking of which, Big Papa drops down. And he's going to get dropped basically instantly. Wordy got peppered as well. Boomin as well here from the outside. It's going to be Bonk Bonk versus Boomin. Right around the corner, of course. Uh, that's going to be a nice shot, actually. Just peeks out just enough, and it's going to get the jump on to Bonk Bonk. So, and then Big, Big Papa and Impact making the move forward. At least Big Papa was able to get bit, picked back up. So nicely done there from Impact to do so. Charge, Impact, Zombie Dude, they're all pretty much around the same area. Big Papa not too far behind as well. I need to charge here some of these breaching rounds. Definitely has to be careful, however, though. And get blasted by something out of nowhere and basically go down even if it's a shot in the foot. A little bit of skirmish here. Impact is not going to take that one. It's going to be booming. Finding the elimination that time by. Big Papa's going to refrag for one and ends up uh, with Charge actually finding booming. So, round three. Best chance here so far in the series for the Saints to find themselves on the 
the winning side of the board as they continue to move on forward. Zombie Dude moves on in, but doesn't realize it's going to be a Nitro Cell. It's going to completely smoke Charge, but not take him down. And then Parker, still able to get the jump onto Zombie Dude. You see him still getting kind of open fired upon. Holy moly, what a shot there from Parker, but he is going to be taken down eventually here by Charge. Charge versus Wordy and Rippled to finish this one off. 30 seconds left on the clock. Where you can basically be tickled and go down. A ripple still fully loaded, ready to go. Of course, land the headshot, it doesn't matter what your health is. Charge has to watch out from the top. Somebody open and fire upon there. That is going to be the Maluzi of Rippled, so. Doesn't necessarily want to take that engage, and sure enough, it's going to get stuck. Going to have to try and work the pistol to finish this one off, get some decent damage, but not going to be able to find it. Ripple's going to win that pistol duel and give the uh, UW Whitewater squad their third win here in the series to start things off. I mean, on Cafe, I know Saints tend to like the def defensive side of things much better, but we've seen it week in and week out. It's just a matter of how much of the bleeding can you stop early on in these attacking rounds, because a lot of times, like, Saints will go on a bit of a terror. They'll get three wins on the defensive side of things, four wins on the defensive side of things, but they would have dropped like, maybe five or six rounds when they were attacking. So even if they get basically caught out once or twice, then their entire defense is ruined, the game's over, and they couldn't fully capitalize on their uh, their defensive strats on this map. So this goes to show as well why the map picks and bans and sides, everything matters here in Rainbow Six Siege. Back down to the first floor this time here for UW Whitewater. Bring out the castle once again, slow things down even further, force some breaching charges or some sort of... Not a hard breaching tool, but a breaching tool nonetheless. And Spider just sticking to this Valkyrie. Rippled sticking to the Maluzi. Parker still on the mute as well. We're, everybody's just keeping the same rolls. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So fair enough on the side of UWA Water. And to be fair, though, Saints still sticking to their guns as well. It's nice, though, seeing Chars being able to step on up here and find himself a bunch of eliminations so far here for his team. Just unfortunately for him and the rest of the squad, it hasn't necessarily converted into a win for them as of yet. But of course, still a bit early, but with three rounds on the board here for the side of UW Whitewater, it is nerve-wracking to say the least. Let's see, Charge's gonna spot one out. Big Papa already inside the building alongside Impact. Zombie dude up in the high uh, the high slot up there on the roof. Bonk Bonk gonna be driving on in. And actually, the drone might have spotted somebody out, and that's a huge call out there with Big Papa being able to finish that one out. I think that might have been Bonk Bonk with the call out on the drone. Perfect timing and nicely done. Or actually, it might have been Charge. I think that was a number two ping, so. Either way. Regardless of which Saints player it was, that's exactly what they got to do. Being able to get themselves a nice early pick in this round could definitely turn it around nice and quickly. However, we have seen the solid uh, dueling potential, the, the solid gunfighting skill here from the side of UW Whitewater already. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on it as it goes forward. We're going to have Zombie Dude doing a little bit of redecorating here in the mining room. Yeah, 
Wow, Zombie Dude was up here on the sledge. You did get open fired upon just a little bit. We do have a couple players just hovering around this site here. Trying to see if the rest of the team can maybe make a move. Charles is actually already on site with about 30 seconds left to go. He might be able to quietly get this diffuser down. Have to see if he can actually stick it, though. Somebody coming around the corner. Nitro Cell is going to miss, however. And for the first time here in this series, Saints are going to be able to get this diffuser down. So three on three here. Big Papa in a bit of a pickle. Stuck between two. Impact is going to go down. Pistol comes out. Not going to happen. Parker, shotgun ready. Takes care of it. Spider is in process of defusing as well. So Zombie Dude, a little bit out of time. I don't think he's going to be able to get there. He's going to try, but it's not going to be enough. Not the proper angle, and it looks like there is the Maluzi. That would have been rippled right there to finish him off anyway. So well done again here for UW Whitewater. Spider finding himself to defuse, and even if that defuse did get stopped, like I was saying before, rippled was right there ready to go. So... UW Whitewater coming out firing on all cylinders, looking super strong here on this cafe defense. Definitely on pace to find themselves in this, uh, or, <coughs> excuse me, definitely on pace rather to uh, find themselves a perfect defense at this rate. Could be a quick one if they cannot be stopped here. We're sending energy to the St. Clair squad. Of course, this is this may be the hometown squad here, or the hometown stream for St. Clair College. But at the same time, I like to see a strong gameplay. I like to see a strong match. I don't want to see a blowout. I want to see our Saints fight back here. But that being said, I can definitely appreciate what UW Whitewater is, uh, is doing here against the Saints. Everything they have been pulling off here has just been working overall, so... Nicely done as we see Boomin. Seems like this site specifically he likes the LF4. Gonna get it all those. What do you want to call those? The mine? Uh, Grismont Mines. Yeah, that's it. All of the the mines placed all over the place. Make things nice and nasty here for somebody from the side of the Saints to come walking through. We've seen what happened last time. Actually, Boomin, what are you thinking about? Fighter. What are you doing? I mean, this is obviously pretty common here for Valkyries. They will whip a camera out. But sometimes, this can lead to some aggression. And it depends on how confident this uh, UW Whitewater squad is. And they do spot somebody coming out the door. Bonk Bonk is going to find Wordy. Did not expect that to go down, actually. But now, where is Boom? And I'm still trying to keep an eye. Oh, they're going up right here. This might be the go time. Nitro Cell, not going to make contact. Like the idea. Just thinking that there was going to be a run out of some sort, but it looks like the sign of UW Whitewater are going to bait me out a little bit. At the same time, though, they're going to be able to still keep an eye on the Saints. It's time and time again here. Impact's getting shot at, but he's going to keep himself alive at least for a little bit. Big Papa back up to the rooftops after finding one of those breaching rounds. Char's so, way, ready and waiting. Impact is in the building, but at the same time, not exactly in good shape. Big Papa getting peppered a little bit here from the, from the window. Bonk, bonk, right there to reinforce them as well. Minute 30, and the Saints are still pretty much stuck on the outside. We're going to find the bomb location. Impact's going to drop on down. Maybe look to try and finally make a move. And he's going to walk right into the Ella mine. Make that little, like, mini flashbang almost. Make it nice and easy for Parker to find the shot on him. Thankfully, for Impact, Big Papa was right there. But actually, as soon as I turn the corner, that is going to be a big elimination here for Spider. But Big Papa is going to pick him off nice and quick. That's going to be another Ella mine getting right into the face of uh, Big Papa. But nobody on the side of UW Whitewater is going to be able to capitalize as of right now. In fact, Saints, oddly enough, find themselves with the player advantage. Excuse me. For at least the moment. That sneaky little hole here for Big Papa, actually. Going to find the kill on Rippled, and then... Oh, okay. Recoil has been secured. 
<laughs> Big Papa getting a little bit of revenge, but it wasn't even on the right player. Unfortunate team kill from him. Big Papa's going to get nuked from behind here, as it's going to be the Nitro Cell from Parker. Bring this down to a two-on-two. -two. Imagine if they still had Chars in this game. It would definitely be a much more comfortable situation, because this is still very uncomfortable, because it's still a matter of dealing with Boomin. Sure. We have the Diffuser in hand. It is going to get uh, faked, actually. They're going to have to stick this down. And eventually, Boom is going to be able to pop out and look to make the play. Did kind of make his presence known, but at the same time, he's got the flank on them. He's going to blow through the wall how close he was. He had no idea. Bonk Bonk taking a little bit of damage, but not a whole heck of a lot. Saints need to kind of pincer him. Otherwise, you never know. Boom could very well turn this 1v2 into his favor. Takes care of the drone, at least, so one less eye on the site itself. Just enters in, pre-fires, Bonk Bonk going down, which means all up to Zombie Dude. Where is Zombie Dude actually right here, right now? He's go going from the rooftops. That's actually a solid position. I don't think he's going to be able to get taken down from here. And sure enough, has to try and stick it. Zombie Dude going to get St. Clair on the board. Stops the bleeding, and we're going to have ourselves a pause. It looks like a somebody seems to have gotten taken down here. The, how do I do this here? There goes pause timer. Okay, so yeah, somebody on the Saints didn't unfortunately get DC'd. Looks like Char's actually got DC'd for a moment. Yeah, so I think we're going to just hang tight here for just a second while the players get their uh, get Chars back into the game. See if we need to get a rehost or something to get him back into this. So at least now, St. Clair, they finally got that one round in there to finally stop the bleeding. It was getting kind of nerve-wracking. I, I know I say that word a lot, but it was getting <laughs> into the point where it was starting to get worrisome, to say the least, with how much of a run this uh, UW... Whitewater squad I was having. So finally get themselves one point on the board. Let's see if they can maybe secure themselves one more before this uh, halftime switch. That way give themselves a little bit of extra outs. Okay, there we go. Okay. Of course, one of the, uh, the fun parts of being the spectator here in uh, Rainbow Six is I'm also the lobby creator. So at the same time, keeping the keeping the game going the best as possible here. So if I do end up going quiet at certain times, it's because I'm just making sure everything's all good with the players as we move forward here in this matchup. And right now, <laughs> Rippled is on a Warden. Boomin's playing a Clash. This is completely different. This is going to have to have, I would imagine, at least one six pick, would there not? Obviously, though, maybe not. It'll... Yeah, they're going to just stick with it. So an interesting team composition coming out here from the side of uh, UW Whitewater. Something we've not seen them try so far here in this game. And it's always funny. Always love seeing Warden, but I won't lie. His gadget is still a little bit uh, underwhelming, to say the least, I guess you can say. And then, of course, we also have Boomin on the Clash. And, of course, for those who don't know, Clash is the only defensive operator in the game that does have a riot shield let alone a riot shield that can electrify you so it is a lot of fun it is hell annoying if the players do not have a way to deal with it which oftentimes involves trying to flank and we do have a quick little run out attempt it's gonna get shut down nice and quick however there was somebody just below them actually it's going to be booming there with the Clash. So just going to be front line it 
it here for this uh, UW squad. And of course, halftime right around the corner here. Saints will get themselves on the defensive side of things after this round. But will they have the opportunity to have uh, three defensive rounds go awry? Or two? Will it all depend here on this, or on this uh, final attack for them. That's pr a pretty common position for the Saints to be moving in here. And now, oh, hello there. Starts poking him down. Bonk Bonk, however, is going to find himself in an elimination here onto Ripple. That Warden is going to have absolutely no effect here in this, this round here. And see, this is the annoying thing. Like, Impact is here. He's just unloading a, a clip into this, uh, in this clash and just absolutely... No effect. Clash does not care about your bullets in the slightest. So he might need to try and find another window or at least wait a little bit longer before actually making the move. And the last thing you want to do is go face to face with the Clash and just eat that electric shock constantly. Big Papa going to spot out Boomin as well. Sees what's going on. Just going to take a little pot shot and then make himself move along. Charge, of course, back into this game, be able to blow a hole through this reinforced wall nice and quick. Hops on through, not going to be able to get the flank. That's going to be the Nitro Cell from below. Nice attempt there from Parker. Not going to find it, though. And then you can see, Saints just unloading everything they have into this Clash, but has been doing a solid job of finding the proper positioning to keep them safe. Charge does go down. That was the Diffuser Carrier. Big Papa gets lit up as well. Spider going to find the elimination that time by. Zombie Dude, Bonk Bonk, and Impact. The only ones left alive here for a St. Clair side of things. Three on four in the favor of UW Whitewater. Impact is basically going to go down just via these zaps if he's not careful. And as soon as he turns his back, of course, the Clash can have a secondary weapon. Are they even going to be able to breach this? They have 10 seconds left to go. Parker with one. There is Bonk Bonk right around the corner, and I think that is going to be the double going over for Bonk Bonk. One left alive, and Spider going to shut that down nice and quick. Make that AUG work for him. And that is going to be on this attacking round for Saints. They only managed to snag the one round. Beautifully done from UW Whitewater's strong defense here on Cafe. And of course, with it being halftime, do want to give a couple shout outs to the sponsors that make this all possible. Of course, that being St. Clair College, Zeckelman School of Business of Information Technology, St. Clair SRC, St. Clair College Alumni Association, PC Outlet, and Tim Hortons. Thank you for sponsoring us here on the St. Clair Saints Varsity Esports team. Of course, a big shout-out to everybody tuning in as well. Always a pleasure bringing you as many matches here from the Saints eSports team as much as possible. Unfortunately, here for the Saints, definitely have their uh, their work cut out for them, to say the least, going into this one. UW Whitewater, definitely quite the formidable foe as of this moment. But maybe just the defensive side switch is exactly what they are looking for. We'll have to see. Pretty classic style for St. Clair coming out here. You almost never see a St. Clair defense without a smoke ever since the team was created, pretty much. Of course, Bonk Bonk able to be doing a bunch of redecorating. And then, of course, a reminder, in case anyone wasn't here at the very beginning, who the heck is Bonk Bonk? That is Kira, just renamed. Five seconds left before insertion. I don't know how you go from being a god of death to somebody I imagine running around with a rubber mallet and just booping people on the head, but I mean, you do you. Alright, UW Whitewaters. First attack underway here. We have Spider going to be playing the uh, the entry frag style with Ash. We have Rippled playing Zero. 
Wordy on the Zafia Boomin is going to be looking for some gadgets there on the IQ. Making a bit of a mess up on the on the roof as well, carrying a bunch of those breaching charges. Which is always the nice thing too. Don't want to bring a sledge, that's fine. Just make sure you have an operator with a bunch of breaching charges and you can do this initial rooftop entry still. And Parker going to be the one with the hard breaching potential here on the ace. And Big Papa, what happened here? He got himself picked off here. Impact actually getting lit up a little bit as well. Not sure what had gone down. Maybe from the rooftops. I think that's Boomin, actually, who found him. No, it's Spider. Spider actually is going to take care of Big Papa. Finish him off, finally. Shots fired from Spider. Not going to make contact with anybody. Already peeking on through... Couple Saints right around the corner, of course. We know that they don't. Wordy going to find the elimination Spider-Man style from the uh, from the rappel. Takes care of Bonk Bonk. The smoke is off the table. And I say it pretty much every single time we have ourselves on our six cast, but having um, a smoke usually means you want to keep them safe till the end game so that they can finish off the round and stall it out with their smokes. So going down nice and early makes things difficult. And of course, as soon as I switch away from Boomin, he's going to find the final shot. Beautiful attack here for UW Whitewater. And I think this is a game point already for the side of UW Whitewater. Absolutely killing it here on Cafe. Going to opt for a different location this time by going to try this first floor, but at the same time, we have already a couple switches coming out here from the side of UW Whitewater. We have the Cali locked, or not locked in yet here for Rippled, but definitely thinking about it. I've seen Cali actually quite consistently here on this first floor uh, kitchen site. More than pretty much any of the other sites in, uh, in Cafe. Definitely makes sense. There must be something to it. Fair enough. Saints, game one is already <laughs> possibly on the doorstep of being completed here. If Saints can't pull something out quickly. No more room for error. It's a very stressful spot to try and be in for St. Clair. And it's odd seeing some aggressive choices coming out here as we see the vigil coming out for Big Papa. See if he can find himself a nice place to hide. And then this time, yeah, sure enough, no smokes on the side of St. Clair for the first time in forever, it feels like. Five seconds left before insertion. Okay, I was going to say, you see that drone, right? Okay, it is going to end up going down. Good eye, zombie dude. But with that, possibly the final attack here for Cafe, if UW Whitewater can pull this one out. Been a solid job so far here in this game. And actually, Boomin is not wasting any time. Just diving right on in like it's nobody's business. Zombie dude getting taken out. But he isn't going to be taken out in vain. Bonk Bonk going to find him from the second floor on the refrag at least. So, IQ for Valkyrie. Not a terrible trade. At least it's nice and evened up still. Crippled and Spider alongside Parker looking to start breaching through some of these reinforced walls. And can we kind of stuck for at least a little bit there, of course. They're looking for the mute jammers of impact there with those Cali shots. And actually, Chars getting knocked down to like 5% health. Has a Nitro Cell in hand, looks for the shot, not going to find it. Back and forth battles for days. Big Papa could get the jump on the somebody. Impact's right around the corner. There is somebody right there. Scary spot for him, of course. Big Papa getting himself into a little bit of an engagement. No contact made. Elbow could still be exposed, however. Do you see the player moving? 
some back and forth shots. Spider gonna get the best of impact, however, in this one. Bonk Bonk getting taken down a little bit. Diffuser is in progress of getting planted as well. Going to be secured. So the four on two in favor of UW Whitewater. Rough spot. Bonk Bonk is going to take care of one. Wordy does end up going down. Where is Big Papa? He does end up going down. We do see in the background Bonk Bonk is the last one alive. Not going to be able to take care of it. Parker finishing things off. UW Whitewater putting on a clinic on Cafe. A rough start here for the St. Clair squad, to say the least. University of Wisconsin, Whitewater looking absolutely brilliant on Cafe for this first game. Not a whole heck of a lot to really break down, just for whatever reason, on the attacking side of things, Saints could not get the diffuser down, period. I think they did once, and sure, they managed to get themselves that one victory, but otherwise, just time and time again, they could not get that diffuser down. They couldn't put on any pressure. It was all in the hands of of the University of Wisconsin. Okay, yeah, so just overall beautifully done there for the side of the University of Wisconsin. We're not gonna wait too long, however, just going to quickly switch things on over as we do have game number two. It's going to be Coastline this time by, and at least this time here for St. Clair, they do get to start off on defense. So if just attacking was something that they may not have been so comfortable with on Cafe, they at least don't have to worry about attacking for a little while here on this Coastline matchup. We'll get to see momentarily if uh, that's gonna make the difference for the Saints being on this defensive side of things. In just a moment, of course, I need just the quickest of seconds to get this all set up. So I'm going to send this to a very, very quick break. We won't be long. Within five minutes, we'll be into game two. <laughs> 